Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for yet another card tutorial. Today I'm going to be experimenting with a new die, and die cut and stamp set that I received. It's basically a bouquet, but instead of using it as an entire bouquet, I'm going to be utilizing it as you see here on just a couple of corners. And I also will be using an embossing folder, but I'll show you how I will go about doing that. So without further ado, this would be my matted layer for my five and a half by four and a quarter um, card stock. Um, card okay and um, I went ahead and stamped partial parts of the bouquet on both ends and I will be utilizing the die cut portion just to get these pieces out I will also be using an embossing folder and I would be using distress ink this one is picked raspberry which I'll be using um, to you know color the center part so um, let me go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go ahead and cut out that piece that I've already colored. I use some metallic pencils to color this. You know, it's, it's kind of warm. It's not very loud or anything, as you can see, very warm and subtle colors. Um, it reminds me of pastel colors, but that's quite all right. Um, and of course, this, this would be the bouquet and the die set that I mentioned to you. I also have my wishing you a happy birthday already cut out so that will save time and let us begin. I'm going to utilize a piece of washi tape just to keep the, the die cut in place the way I would like to cut it out. So just bear with me. I'll go ahead and get that cut out right now and then we can go ahead and move to the other side. So now that I have those two, I'm going to go ahead and the rest of the space that I do have or you know the positive spacing that I have here I'm going to now go ahead and emboss it with a folder and this is just combining the the two embossing die cutting stamping whichever one you want to call it so here we go with that one Okay, so here is the other portion so that I am going to be utilizing, okay? Now it doesn't really matter which end these come out of as long as, of course, it fits nicely in. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and just flip this little thing that I did by myself. It's just a little um, laminated piece of paper and a half by uh, what was it I did it by 11 and a half whatever it is I'm going to go ahead and use this um, distress ink and I'm going, just going to color it up a little bit at this time just to give it a little color now in some places I'm not going to be putting a lot of color it's just to you know just give it something it's not I'm not I'm not looking for anything like overwhelming or anything like that as far as the saturation of the color just a little something something you can add more color if you wish it's entirely up to you but that's pretty much where it's at now I'm going to put those aside now flip this back over here and I'm going to go ahead and get this now stuck on this part so I'm going to make sure that it is sitting in the right spot as far as you know um, lining it up and everything once I have that done then we will proceed to the next okay so I have the center part on and now I'm going to go ahead and get this part back into the space but the difference is I will actually be putting some dots some squares under there dimensional squares so that they can be a little popped and more interactive. So I'm just going to set them at different points where it is going to lay down, well not lay down really, just to keep it from caving in in different places, but at the same time give you the nice, um, the nice look. Okay, and I'm going to make sure that it's lining up properly. So I need to make sure that it is going to be fitting in that 
those grooves. Let me just slightly rest it down just to make sure because it can stick pretty quick. Okay, I want to say I have it where I need it. So as you can see, I do have, you see under here, you can see the little elevation and I'm going to do the other side and I'm going to go ahead and try, make sure that those are also positioned in the like manner and to make sure it's I don't want to press it down yet until I know for sure that it seems to be sitting the right place okay let's make sure it is yes I believe it is so I'm going to go ahead and put that down so now you see it's coming together okay so you still have the same corners but just on dimensional squares and now I'm going to add here the birthday in the center, but I'm going to just use uh, my glue in order to get it down on here. I'm not going to put them on the squares, just going to put it down regular. I kind of like to angle a little bit, so I'm going to kind of look for the positioning. I'm going to say I like this right here. And then the other piece, oops, just a little lower down from there, more or less more centered. There is the birthday card. So you can experiment if you do have die cuts. You can use any die cut. It doesn't have to be flowers, but you can use it in the center. You can use it in the middle. You can use it anywhere and then mount them on. Um, dimensional squares or circles or whatever you have add your sentiment on the front and you are good to go very simple card with a combination of stamp and die cut set and embossing folder so thank you so much for joining me today i will see you guys next week